What's up guys, Jason Wardrop here and in this video I want to talk about social media marketing tips for beginners in 2018, alright? Now the reason why I kind of like came up with this idea to shoot this video is because I've had a number of friends actually personally text me, reach out to me and so I kind of wanted to maybe make this as like a little help for them um, as they're going through and growing their business. They're all in different businesses so this could work if you know you're in real estate, you own a marketing agency, um, I got a friend who's got one to start a golf channel. Um, another friend that's in network marketing. There's there's all these different things and it all is pretty consistent when you're going through and building up your business on social media, right? Now, um, just so you guys, if you guys are brand new to the channel, my name is Jason Wardrop and um, I use these exact strategies. Yesterday I made $20,000 in just one day. Um, I'll actually, I'll throw a little screenshot right here, something like that, so you guys can actually believe me, see that it's, it's real. I, these are exact strategies that I've gone through and used. And the cool thing is, I was just talking with a friend the other day actually, and we were talking about how like I started diving into this stuff less than two years ago. Okay, so it's not like it takes you a whole lifetime. Like you go, if you're a doctor, you're gonna go and get uh, spend eight to 10 years in school, and then you kind of like hit a cap of what you can really th go through and make. Whereas with social media, since you can reach so many people, you, you, there's not really a cap on your income or learning and you can do it fairly quickly, all right? But there's a few core things that you need to know as we go through and break this down. So step number one, guys, I'll try to write it fairly big so you guys can see this and excuse my, uh, my terrible handwriting here, but number one is gain a skill, okay? So let me just hit this really quick, guys. So many people, and this, this bugs me and I know it bugs a lot of people, they go, they try to be the fake expert because like being an expert is, is big nowadays because it's like, oh, you're the expert, go launch a course and make all this money. Well, if you don't have any credibility or authority, no one's going to go trust you and you're going to make like pennies compared to like what you really could make. Now, if you think about it, if you guys are familiar with Gary Vaynerchuk, which I'm sure most of you guys are, he is a big time businessman. He's got millions of followers on all the different social media platforms. But the interesting thing is, if you guys go look at the beginning of his career, when he first started out, he started out with a, a company called Wine Library, or it was, he called it Wine Library TV, right? He started out with a YouTube channel. It would shoot a video every single day to go through and propel his wine business. He was selling wine out of his dad's little shop, and he went through, took it to the internet, and then I think they sold that company for like $60 million, right? So you gotta gain a skill, and ideally, that skill is something that you're passionate about, right? Like, so one of my friends, he just texted me yesterday, he's like, hey man, I wanna start an Instagram page on, um, or Instagram profile on golf. He's a big time golfer, he's super good at golf, he's in all these big time tournaments, he's like, you know, how would I go through and do this? And so that's the nice thing, he's got a skill, whereas I've got other friends who they wanna go through, they wanna create the big social media following, but there's no, one, there's no backstory to them. Like I've got another friend, he um, is called the Bucket List Family. Uh, they've got, I think, close to a million followers now. He's got a cool story. He went and started an app and sold a Snapchat. Anyway, we were in the same uh, business school together and we were having a few classes together. But what he did, instead of going through and getting like that necessarily like that skill, he built a story around his profile, right? Where it's like, hey, he's taking his family, he sold everything, all their belongings, and then they're traveling all around the world and now they're getting sponsorships and cool deals and stuff like that. So he's got a story behind it, whereas most people you're gonna need to have some type of skill set. Like, um, you know, Gary V, he went in and he started just like going through and, and evaluating wines, right? Or you need to go through and learn Facebook ads if you wanna start a marketing agency. Or you've gotta get, so I got a, an, another friend, he, he sells courses on Amazon, okay? Or he sells stuff on Amazon, he built a course around that and now his personal brand's blown up. So we gotta gain a skill, guys. That That's number one. If not, then you're gonna be kind of built on like uh, a deck of cards, okay? Built on a deck of cards, all right? So the second thing is going through, and this is this part, number two is really what I think you guys are here for, is um, building a personal brand okay so I started about a year and a half ago marketing to real estate agents right and I've kind of become the known as the guy okay he's the the real estate lead gen marketing guy and all that stuff so I've worked with now like a few thousand real estate agents helping them generate leads market their business going all to grow that and now I'm kind of starting to help other people create their own marketing agency right <clears throat> 
So I've gone through and I've kind of built that personal brand and it didn't happen overnight. And like with Gary Vaynerchuk, didn't happen overnight. He was for years doing that, that daily show and just working and he wasn't like necessarily, tr like it, the branding kind of comes with it, right? So when you're going through and you're building your personal brand, it's key to pick the right platform where you know your users are gonna be, okay? So my bigger, like if you guys are watching this on YouTube, which you are, because I'm shooting it for my YouTube channel, you see I probably have like a thousand subscribers, which is pretty minuscule, right? That's not, not that big. On Facebook, I have about 30,000 followers, okay? Which is, you know, it's, it's getting up there. It's not like a huge following, but it's a decent size. And the reason why I build it up on, on Facebook is because there's a lot of real estate agents, a lot of mortgage brokers, a lot of real estate brokers on Facebook, more so than are on YouTube, okay? And so I went through and I built my personal brand on Facebook, but then like my buddy, he's, he wants to go through and build his, um, he wants to build his Instagram account, right? So depending on your business, you gotta know your target market and know where they hang out. Like um, for example, and one friend I was telling you about who's got, he sells on Amazon. Well, Amazon, crypto, Shopify, all that stuff, that's super hot on YouTube, right? So if you're gonna go through and connect with other people, you gotta make sure you're, you're using the right platform where, you know, like Snapchat's gonna be a different following, Instagram, different following, whereas like Facebook now, it used to be all like kind of the younger generation and now none of the younger generation, I got several younger brothers and none of them are ever on Facebook. It's kind of like, Oh, that's not cool anymore. That's for old people, right? So you got to pick your right platform as you're going through and build it. And guys, I, like I could go through and we could hit different strategies on how to build on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all these different platforms. But there's like there's a million other videos out there on how to do each one of those specifically. And there's guys that like they, they specialize in that one platform, right? So we're not going to hit that in today's video. I just want to cover a few of these key concepts so that you can have a, a kind of core basic understanding of some things that you should probably put in place um, when you're going through and building up your social media following, all right? And then the third thing is, okay, this is key too, you gotta have some type of product. Product to sell. Okay, now this, obviously, the whole idea behind all of this is that you can go through and make money for your business or make money just for life in general, right? So, um, you know, some people might be starting this and be like, well, Jason, I'm not in it for the money. Well, let's get real at the end of the day. At some point, you are going to be, right? You're not going to want to spend all your time gaining a skill, building a personal brand, and then make no money what, whatsoever, okay? So, build the, the products, this could be a number of different things. So, it could be a digital online course, okay? It could be a software, it could be a physical good, okay? Like, uh, for example, Logan Paul, he sells like his Maverick merch, his, his t-shirts and all that stuff. I don't know how much he's gonna be selling now that, that YouTube's basically banning him or doing some crazy stuff there, but you gotta have a product to sell. Or like, for example, you know, my, my buddy that wants to start the Instagram account for golf, Okay, he can maybe have a training on how to go through and, and improve your putt or your chip shot or your drive, whatever it is. I don't, I don't golf, so I don't know all the different terms. Or he could do some type of affiliate deals with links to Amazon where he's saying, hey, I recommend this driver. This driver's awesome. It's great to use. And then he can get a little affiliate cut where you don't have to manage any of the product, the shipping, any of that stuff. And that's super beneficial. Where you're probably not gonna make as much money if it's just an affiliate type of product. If you have your own products, you're gonna make a lot more money, but that's another way to kind of like have that hands-free business, more of the lifestyle type of business, right? So this is key right here, guys, because yes, you can go through and make money from YouTube ad revenue. Yes, you can go make money from like brands and sponsorships and all that stuff, but honestly, that type of money that you can make is like, pennies compared to if you have your own product, right? So I know people that they've got tens of thousands of followers, they've got hundreds of thousands of followers, and they don't make a ton of money because they don't have this core back-end product nailed down completely, okay? So you gotta think about, okay, if you have 10,000 followers, or 30,000, or 100,000, what, what kind of is like that niche, right? Like what, what is that following based on and what would be something that they'd all be interested in? Maybe you could make like, you know, some t-shirts, like a community type t-shirt, like Logan Paul with the Maverick brand, like I, I mentioned a little bit earlier. Or, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, he had the wine that he was going through and selling. So he went through, gained a skill set. He was really knowledgeable about wines, okay? Build a personal brand around wine initially. 
and then he had the product to sell on the back end. Okay, now one core thing, guys, I want you guys, I, I really want to stress this big time. Gaining the skill, okay, if you do not have a skill right now, no worries, okay? Like, so that's kind of where I found myself about two years ago. I was I was doing a, a startup and I was like, okay, I know I, I know some digital marketing stuff and all that stuff, but let's say my startup completely tanked and everything just went to crap and I had to start over completely from scratch. Or let's say even worse, like I had to actually get a job, right? Like that would be, for me, that would be like the worst thing on the planet. So what I thought was like, man, you know, I'm pretty good at like some of the social media marketing stuff, but I've kind of just been dabbling. Like I know SEO a little bit, I know a little bit of the YouTube stuff, I know a little bit of all these things. But I was like, if I really knew how to go sell on webinars, if I really knew Facebook ads, if I really knew email marketing, like I'd have these core skill sets that would serve not only me, but you know, every like a lot of other businesses. Okay, so I went through and I spent probably the next, I don't know, six to nine months going through and hammering that down, really learning that skill set. And guys, believe me, it wasn't easy. But as I mentioned, guys, yesterday made twenty thousand dollars in just one day. So if you think about that, that was like less than two years ago that I, I, I took a step back and was like, man, I need a skill set. Okay? So if I could tell you, hey, go get a skill set, nail it down, and then in two years you could potentially be making five grand a day or ten grand a day or twenty grand a day, or I've got some buddies that are doing like fifty to sixty grand a day, okay, which is insane. Like I want I want to get to that level. Like that's crazy, right? So anyway, guys, these are some kind of basic tips. Um, as far as how to get started with social media for beginners, if you're really wanting to build a business around it, I highly recommend gaining some type of skill set, right? Like get something where you either know a lot about a topic, like whether it, it could be, you know, wine like Gary Vaynerchuk, could be accounting, finance, marketing, whatever it might be, um, like, or, you know, Tanner J. Fox, uh, I talked a little bit about him on the channel before. He knows how to sell on Amazon, right? Or other guys you know, know how to sell on Shopify. Or like my skill set was I knew how to generate leads for real estate agents really well and now you know mortgage brokers and kind of like branch that off from off of that. Okay, and then I went through and after I kind of got that core base of like, okay, these guys, I'm generating leads for them, having great crazy success stories. This is awesome. I can now go build my personal brand around it. And now I've got a product to sell where we build out a software. I have trainings, I have coachings, all that stuff. And then there's either th even things like little fingers and pieces that I can build off of that where it's like now I've got my core training, teaching um, real estate agents how to generate leads on our software, and now I got a whole different training, teaching mortgage brokers how to generate leads on the software because they're so closely related, right? And now I've got a third training of teaching digital marketers, right? Like maybe you might be a digital marketer or marketing agency, right? And teaching them how to go get real estate um, clients and mortgage clients. Now, I'm just I just started that a month ago because a year, year and a half ago, yes, I was getting clients, but I wasn't like getting them on a super consistent. I had to go through and I had to gain that skill set first. I had to like make a, a get a better foundation on that. And so once I built that solid foundation, and you know, I, I think today, so yesterday we did twenty thousand, and I think today we've already had like fifty to sixty new signups or something like that on our software. So it's like I feel like I've got that skill set. I've got that nailed down where I I feel confident where. It's not like the blind leading the blind. I know how to lead people to be able to say, hey, you want to generate real estate leads and, um, and and go get real estate clients and market for them and get paid a monthly commission for your marketing services and all that. Here's exactly how to do that. Here's like the lead gen campaigns. Here's how to go through and get more people organically. So anyway, it's kind of a proven process, but as I mentioned, it's taken time. So what I would suggest, if you're completely starting from scratch right now, you don't have a skill set, Take the next six months, okay, it's January 2018, January 11th, I think, or 12th, I think it's 12th. Okay, so January 12th, 2018, take it till, set a, set a goal, okay, say by June, you're gonna have a solid skill set, whether it's, you know, hey, you know how to generate leads or uh, for, for like, you know, some type of business owner, real estate, insurance, whatever, or you know how to like golf or you know how to, you're really knowledgeable about wine or some topic. And then once you do that, go through and you, you're helping people, right? You're getting some do some testimonials, experience, basically that credibility, that authority. Then go start building your personal brand around it on the platform that, that complements whatever niche you're going after. 
and then create some type of product to sell to the masses. And that's the beauty about social media, right? Like instead of back in the day when you could only reach your local real estate agents, like we've got agents all across the United States and Canada and we've now, I think, I think we're pretty close to 3,000 agents that have been on our platform and using our, our training and all that stuff, which, which is crazy, right? Like I would have never been able to do that probably 20, 30 years ago, but now I can do that because we've got social media, we can connect with so many people, right? So anyway guys, leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts, um, let me know, I, I'd be curious to hear about what you're trying to go through and build your social media brand on. And if you guys leave your, your thoughts down below, I'll be sure to just respond to every single one of you guys. If you guys got a question, I'll give you guys some feedback, let you know how uh, I can be helpful. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, my name is Jason Wardrop, as I mentioned earlier. And if, uh, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe because we try, I've tried to launch a new video every single day. Stuff gets, you know, it gets piled up. So it gets hard sometimes, but I try to launch a few videos every single week at least. Um, be able to help you generate more leads, make more money, and grow your business, all right? So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today, and we'll talk to you all later.